My boyfriend hit me for the first time. So I've been with my boyfriend for a year and a half. He's never been physical with me even when we get into superheated arguments. Which is rare. We have been doing really well and super happy so I don't know if this is a one-time thing or not. We were arguing in my car tonight over something small that turned into us yelling. He yelled at me that I needed to stop and take a minute to think and then proceeded to keep yelling. At me so I, wrongfully so, told him to, shut up so I can think. He yelled, don't tell me to shut up, and punched me in the arm extremely hard. It totally took me back and it hurt like a mother. I know it was just in my arm but the way he hit me out of anger and the sheer force he hit me with are setting off alarm bells. On top of that he didn't apologize. He told me I shouldn't have told him to shut up. I went up to my apartment to grab his things to put outside and told him do not come in. He came inside and told me that he was sorry he hit me but I needed to also take responsibility for yelling and telling him to shut up. I told him I was sorry for not calming down and he told me he could promise me he wouldn't ever hit me again. I should say that I have had anger issues in the past but they have not been nearly as present as they used to. We were both raising our voices but it wasn't even close to some of the fights we've had in the past. I told him I wasn't sure if I could be with him after he hit me that I always promised myself I'd never stay with someone who did. He told me then that he always promised his elf that he'd never stay with someone who acts the way I did. He went in the other room to think about things and wound up leaving without saying a word. I'm not sure what to do because I know my anger could have triggered him based on our past and I just don't know if we should split up. Aside from tonight, our relationship has been amazing but I can't figure out what the right answer is. Usually the saying goes, before they hit you, they hit near you, but it seems like your boyfriend skipped the near you and went straight to hit you. It's never okay. You need to make sure you have a safe place to go and get away from him. The line has been crossed. Worse yet, he told you that you needed to also take responsibility so that he could try and blame you for his poor choices. You've already proven that there is an incompatibility here. So sure, you got angry, said things maybe you shouldn't have, but if the behaviors you demonstrated meant you were somebody he could not stay with with, then he simply needed to make that decision to end it. Instead, he got physical. If you stay together, you will continue to trigger each other because you've already gone that route. Once you go there, it only becomes easier to go there again for both of you. And you will be toxic towards each other. First and only time, leave and don't look back. My boyfriend hit me for the last time. I fixed that subject for you. Someone who physically hurts you in response to you using angry words is not someone you should be with. Full stop. And the fact that he insists that you're partially at fault for his physically violent outburst is legit terrifying. Leave him please. For the first time, but not the last trust me, been there too. My abuser always had the same kind of response. Very unfortunate that he gave me bruises. But I had to take responsibility for my attitude and for triggering his anger. He gave me some sob story about how he was badly bullied as a teen and my attitude reminded him of his bullies. And that's why he lost control. He told me how much he loved me and that we only needed to learn how to communicate. Save yourself years of misery and pain and leave now. If you stay, he will know that he can get away with hitting you and it will continue. And it will escalate too. This is literally how abusers' minds work. If I could go back in time, I would have moved out immediately and reported my abuser to the police straight away. But I didn't and I will live with the consequences. Please read, Why Does He Do That? by Lundy Bancroft. There's a free PDF online. 
He hit you and his first reaction was to blame it on you. He recognized what he did wrong right away and instead of being sorry he blamed it on you. Even after the fact when you both had cooled off. He still blamed it on you. Unless you were hitting him first he had no reason to hit you ever. Don't wait for it to happen again. Run. I told him I wasn't sure if I could be with him after he hit me that I always promised myself I'd never stay with someone who did. He told me then that he always promised his elf that he'd never stay with someone who acts the way I did. So you're both in agreement. Walk away. He's not sorry he did what he did. At all. He genuinely thinks you're equally to blame. This is huge. Don't wait around for it to happen again. You know this. Right. Like. Deep down you know that things have changed between you now. And you'd be worried sick if your friend or little sister was in the same position. Don't stick around to let it happen again. Because it will. Get out of there as soon as you can. Do not give in and or forgot him. Run. Those types of situations become constant. Abuse. Apologies. Blaming you for his actions. Making up. Then repeat. No one deserves abuse physical or emotional no matter how bad of a disagreement. Please leave him. If you had a friend tell you this same story you would tell her to get out. This is your chance to leave. Your moment, nothing you did made it acceptable to him to punch you. I feel sorry for you that you have been in a relationship with someone like this. How? Do his parents behave? Especially his father, any hitting there at all. Of his wife. Of his son. Someone who hits and then does not apologize but tries to excuse their behavior as being provoked by you. Is not someone you should remain around. At all. My view in this circumstance is no second chance. I anticipate he'll backtrack. Realize he needs to apologize without reservation or again saying you provoked him but takes all the blame. But hitting in this manner goes way beyond a follow-up and late apology emo. Do you have any family history of coping with violence? That might predispose you to stumble into similar relationships with abusers. The next time he'll hit you harder if you let him. You don't hurt the ones you love. It's not a one-time thing. Google, Lundy Bancroft why does he do that PDF? Your first instinct was right. Take all of his stuff and put it in a box outside. Send him a text letting him know it's over. Call your friends for emotional support and sign up for therapy if you aren't in it already. Your relationship sounds very volatile and you need space to process and heal so you can move on. You were both yelling at each other and then he chose to hit you. The fact that he's trying to manipulate you into thinking you did something to make him hit you shows that he will do it again. He doesn't see himself as accountable for his own actions. Please leave him for your own safety. You both basically said the relationship can't work. Follow through and break up. Work on yourself and have a healthier relationship with someone else in the future. Rule of thumb. The first time should always be the last time. The first time someone hits you leave them because there will be a next time if you don't. You're already downplaying his actions and giving him and yourself excuses. I wrongfully yelled at him. Doesn't justify him hitting you. I know it was just in my arm but. He hit you. Doesn't matter where. I told him I was sorry for not calming down. You being angry isn't a pass for physical assault. I know my anger could have triggered him. Again. Not an excuse to physically assault you. As a DV survivor. I can assure you. If he hits you once. He absolutely will do it again. I gave my ex excuses the same way you are now and I ended up being kidnapped and hospitalized. He beat me for three years because I physically could not leave his sight. 
It started off small and continuously got worse and worse until it reached rock bottom. He continued to blame you for the situation and did not even take into considering that he assaulted you. It starts with a push, a punch to the arm, a punch to the face, then beating you. Please, please, please leave and do not look back. He's going to do everything in his power to manipulate you into thinking that if you wouldn't have gotten so angry he would have never hit you. The tears will flow and he'll tell you how sorry he is and how he should have never done that and it won't happen again, etc etc. It will happen again, I promise you, even if it doesn't happen tomorrow, a month from now, or a year from now, it will happen again. The right answer is to remove yourself from his life 110% and move on. It's going to be hard but not as hard as your loved ones looking down at you in a casket. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.